Welcome Librans. Welcome Librans. All right, Librans, your air sign. Um, and uh, we're moving in the, the season of, of uh, Pisces. And um, we, as a Libran, you have to recognize uh, um, how to deal with the energy as uh, when you're moving in a water sign energy. Okay, so um, as a air person, you got to recognize what is coming up. Be alert of what is transpiring on the work floor. Welcome, welcome um, newcomers. Welcome to each and every person. I hope you, newcomers, you will stay, subscribe, like, share. All you have to do is thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Um, thumbs up to just uh, let us know that you had received these readings. Okay. So what we're seeing here is, uh, um, uh, ending is coming in. Okay. There was some sort of an interference with a contract and an ending is coming in. People are now recognizing some sort of a foul play that has happened and transpired. Um, first, let me give you your numbers. Get a piece of paper to write down what is your sweet dates. Um, you Librans are really going through some sort of an issue. This Pisces season is really, um, you know, throwing you out of walk. Okay. Um, there is the two first weeks emotional. Um, your week in the third week, some sort of a problem with a contract you Librans are dealing with where someone tried to interfere with a contract and they are going to be recognizing it. They have recognized what was happening and transpired. So I see. Um, disappointments is going to be coming up, um, for Librans who are working with cancers. Disappointment for a cancer contract. Disappointment for a cancer because some of you Libran recognize that a cancer, they're recognizing that a cancer had intervened, um, in order to change some sort of a contract. Now, um, the third week is the week, uh, is your sweet week because what is happening in transparent, even though Lux is uh, um, in the second week uh, where some of you can be, some of your cancer is going to be leaving and you, you liberals are going to be getting this cancer position. Um, some of you, you liberals could have been working um, to resolve some sort of a situation that a cancer have created and you liberals uh, Recognize that a cancer had intervened in some sort of a situation. And I see you're going to be removing this cancer out of your life or whatever. Um, and, and, and making sure that this cancer, that people, people are aware of a cancer and how a cancer had intervened a situation and has tried to change some sort of a contract. Okay. And they're going to be recognizing this. So this is good. This is clean. This is good. People are recognizing um, what is happening. It is going to be a, a shifty, a nippy little um, period for you guys. Okay. It's going to be a very nippy little period because uh, for um, so much emotional with a scorpion, a cancer, um, a interference with a contract for People are going to be recognizing that someone had interfered with a contract, the energy of the hangman, that sort of a situation um, is going to be coming out. Let's look at your number. Definitely a cycle is going to be over. We see the energy of nine already. Nine and eight is 17. Okay. Um, uh, 12, that is uh, three. Uh, 17 and three is twin, 20. Uh, so it is the energy of two, okay? Remember, we break down all low numbers uh, to single numbers. So double numbers are broken down to single numbers. Now, there's a whole lot of duality that is going on. Whether or not you guys recognize this, a whole lot of dualities and a whole lot of issue. A lot of you are going to be having some sort of an issue with a scorpion in the first week. Whoever the scorpion is, uh, I see you liberals are going to be regretting something you have done to the scorpion or the scorpion have done to you. And it's coming up on the work floor. Um, some of you and a scorpion could have had some sort of a partnership and this could be a resolve, uh, a dissolve. Um, a part, uh, you know, whoever you, some of you could be dissolving a scorpion partnership or 
some sort of a permanent contract that they have. Uh, um, some of you could be doing that. Some of you are really having some sort of an issue with a scorpion in the first week. So you got to be recognizing this because this is a disappointment, whatever the disappointment is, whatever that is transpiring, people are now recognizing a lot of you Librans, some sort of a, a disappointed situation is going to be coming up on the work floor for you in the week of uh, the 19th until the 28th. So 19th to the 28th, um, look out, be aware, um, be on top of your game, Librans, because some sort of a issue on the work floor that is going to be creating some form of disappointment for you Librans between the energy and the week of the 19th until the 28th. Um, I see, you know, Libra and someone has created this problem and a lot of Librans who work with a scorpion, there is going to be some sort of a ruffling, a scorpion could be getting a promotion over you Librans, uh, that sort of a situation that is happening and transparent. So, um, you gotta be aware, some of you, a scorpion could have thrown you under the bus Libran. So you gotta be aware of what is happening. As we look at the second week, the second week is from the 1st of March until the 7th. Um, this is a week where, um, you could be really feeling good. Um, you know, recognizing that you have achieved something. Um, it could be finding out. It could be resolving some sort of a problem issue on the work floor. Um, but you're going to be recognizing that. Uh, some sort of an achievement is going to be coming to some of you or some sort of an acknowledgement or um, some sort of a, um, recognition could be coming. So um, that is good because that is something that you can use to move forward. So um, a lot of you is going to be also overcoming a situation where a cancer have created a whole lot of problems and a cancer try to intervene and intercept some sort of a situation. I see you're going to be the successor over a cancer. They're now recognizing the horrible play of a cancer and what a cancer have done to a lot of you on the work floor. And I see that a lot of you are going to be taking back your power from this cancer, whether this cancer is and why this cancer have done whatever they have done, I see you're going to be taking back your power, okay? Because they're going to be recognizing that a cancer was very, very jealous. Whoever this cancer is was extremely jealous. You got to recognize this. So as we look at the third week, the third week is from the 8 until the 20, the 8 until the 14 of March. And in this week, um, revolution, re um, something is going to be revealed. And what is going to be revealed is over a contract. Um, some sort of an information over a contract is going to be revealed. A lot of you are going to be having a lot of meetings and a lot of you are going to be dealing with some sort of an interference of a contract that a Gemini had created and interfere with a contract and they're going to be recognizing this. So you got to be aware of this and you got to be on top of the game because they're going to be recognizing something with a contract and what a Gemini has done with a, an interfere with a contract and they're going to be recognizing some sort of a fall play that was happening and transpiring and they're going to be bringing this thing in balance. So remember, um, after this reading, choose one of your symbol, go look at your symbol. I think these are all in the second subscription. So use the blue button to get there and choose your symbol because that is how you're going to be recognizing um, the direction to go in to resolve whatever issues that is coming up 19th of February until uh, 20th of Feb uh, March, okay? So um, a lot of meetings, a lot of meetings, but some sort of an inf interference and some sort of a problem that people had tried to create and that sort of a thing, I see a resolution is going to be coming in. And they're going to be recognizing that someone tried to interfere in a situation and they're going to be recognizing who this person is and what they have tried to do and is going to be bringing it to an end. So this is going to be good. Then when we look at the fourth week, the fourth week is as if revelation because they're going to be 
um, some sort of a problem issues on the work floor. They're going to be recognizing that a cancer was behind the situation for a very long time. A lot of you is going to be recognizing that a cancer is the one that work against a scorpion on the work floor. So um, it, 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 it's revelation. It's like the two last weeks are revelation. The best and your sweet dates is going to be um, the 1st of March until the 7th of March. That is going to be your sweet date. So write these things down, okay? And when I say sweet dates, it's when the energy is, is good for you to make changes and it is going to be feeling, your your energy is going to be hot. You're going to be feeling um, good at the workplace because things is just going your way, okay? So remember these sweet dates is uh, March 1st until um the 7th of march so when we go back and we look at the last week which is the week of uh, the 15th until the 20th of march information is going to be coming out about uh, things that was happening behind the scenes and who was creating these problems this issue and they're going to be recognizing that you librans was aware that a cancer was the one that was affecting a scorpion and did not say anything and you were paid or you were connected with a group of people that sent you to affect the scorpion and people are now going to be recognizing that you librans have um, connect with the scorpion in order to create some sort of an issue. And a cancer was the one who gave you the scorpion information in order to connect to the scorpion. And they're going to be recognizing the play. It is a serious situation because I see that this uh, cancer is have a child and the rest of it, but that is not going to stop it because this cancer has created a criminal act. So whether or not she has a child or not, they're going to be saying, um, you know, we don't really care. This act that this person have created is a criminal act. So, sh you know, they should have thought about what they did before they did it. So, I see, there is going to be some sort of a situation because whoever this person is, whether or not this cancer is pregnant or have a child or what, they're going to be saying this person needs to pay for their deed. What they have done is, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, beyond um beyond the sense and knowledge of any sane person and i think that they're going to be using um this person to um show example to other people that you know know that if you create issues for other people you are the one that has to face up and um work out the situation for yourself because uh, um it, it you know uh, as cancer has created a selfish act it is, and this act is, uh, um, you know, to really work against a scorpion for what reason, you know, and people never know that what they do to other people, um, it comes down on your kids and the, the, the evil. And, and this is a situation where you liberals are going to be recognizing Jesus. So, um, this cancer is the one that tried to, um, create so, so much problems and issue. And, you know, people are going to be recognizing this. So a lot of you and I see a scorpion is now going to be recognizing that you liberals as interfere and took a contract and they're going to be finding out and has created some sort of a false contract. And this the scorpion is now going to be finding out a Pisces is going to be letting a scorpion know what you liberals have done. So I, you know, if you were a part of this liberals, you're going to be caught because they're going to be recognizing um, that you had some sort of a play and, and in this interception and uh, taking a contract or some sort of a document that was not yours. So I see this is coming up. So liberals, uh, um, you know, you have connected with this cancer and now you're recognizing the serious, serious problem that this cancer has created a whole lot of meetings is going to be going on. And um, a lot of you liberals, a whole lot of meetings. Uh, your company could be having meetings uh, to figure out what they're going to be doing with you or how is it going to be moved forward with you. Um, so be aware, not all of you, some of you. Um, um, men, I'm seeing the energy with young men. They're, they're going to be deciding not to extend your contract. So young men um between the age of 18 and 45 they're going to be 
deciding not to extend your contract. Not all of you, just a few of people who were wondering about their contracts. And the reason is that, you know, you recognize that uh, you want to make changes and they are like, it's working perfect. We don't need your advice. And you constantly still pushing, pushing and pressing the button. And I think that you have pressed too many people buttons uh, now, Librans, and they are going to um, not um, uh, tingering your contract. OK, they're not going to be doing your contract. Um, so that is for young men between the age of 18 and 45, like 30 and 45, between the age of 30 and 45. I got to go um, show your love by thumbs up. And remember, you got to choose your symbol to see how to resolve whatever issues, problems is coming up. Right on your sweet dates is March 1st until March 7th. I got to go.